What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Bongani Oguse Ogwamajaman. Sorry, what? <laughs> Some just say Bongaushe. People butcher my name all the time. Ivalia. Nantika. Urinal. Excuse me? <sighs> it's, it, it gets tiring. I am Kalisa. Kalisi. Kalisa. Mona Lisa. My name is Sibilia. My name is Andalib. My name is Bongano Gusha Wamataman. Cook actually tells you you need to click before saying it. Click, I click. Hey, it's the tongue. You have to use the tongue. Tongue, sun, ka. Nailed it. Can you guys help me with the X click, please? It's like when you're angry and you just go. Do you have to be angry to do that? No. No. Chef and sound. Oh. If I'm not going to care for the pronunciation of your name, which is essentially your identity, I'm showing a great disrespect to you as a human being. Not Stalin, Shalin. Not Lebuhan. Say right, Lebuhan. Have you seen those brilliant Coca-Cola ads, by the way, that are focusing on people's names? and how to actually, I think it's oh, yes. such a clever, clever campaign. They use the can to put pride in people's hearts. My name's Aaron. My name is Kayo. My name is Kosi. Share up. Share up. How do you pronounce Ivilia? India. Stop it. Uh-uh. She is on fire. Det har varit mycket samtal om kylan, hur den har påverkat hemlösa. Minst 24 människor dött på grund av kylan. Winters in Sweden are cold and hard for the increasing number of homeless people. But on especially cold nights, the city opens up new emergency shelters in various locations. But since they are temporary and always in new places, it's difficult to reach homeless people in time. And many shelters don't fill up to capacity. Since Clear Channel is present everywhere people are, we saw an opportunity to help out. We turned Clear Channel's network of digital billboards into an emergency system for the homeless during the winter by using real-time data and GPS coordinates collected from a number of organizations and institutes. When the temperature drops to negative seven degrees or colder, the screens direct people to their closest emergency shelter. Det här tycker jag är ett liksom prov på hur man kan nå människor som inte annars hade nått av rätt information. The initiative has helped raise awareness of an important issue, but more importantly, it has provided warmth and comfort to people who need it the most. Det här har ju blivit en global respons. Vi ser alla möjligheter att här kommer att kunna rullas ut i andra städer runt om i världen. De som befinner sig i den största graden av utsatthet, det är ju folk som alltid är längst från informationen. De här skyltarna finns på platser där de rör sig, att de kan fånga upp. I kväll finns det någonstans för mig. Det är fantastiskt. The Out of Home Project. Turning billboards into an emergency system.
Planet or Plastic. Den Unterschied machst du. Earlier this summer, National Geographic dedicated its June issue to this problem. I mean, it's a remarkable cover where it looks like it's an iceberg, but actually it's an upside down plastic bag. Today, the committee will examine the issues of man-made trash that is polluting the oceans, also known as marine debris. While marine debris can range from metals, glass, rubber, paper, and textiles, the vast majority of marine debris is plastic. In the Mediterranean. While the refugee crisis in the Mediterranean continues, its media coverage has decreased heavily, and with it, Sea Watch's ongoing efforts are falling silent. If we see ourselves in the refugee experience and try to literally put ourselves on that journey, then it's going to impact us in a completely different way, and that, at its core, is what Lifeboat the Experiment is attempting to do. Based on first-hand experiences of five refugees we've interviewed, we set up a simulation attempting to remodel all conditions of a real escape. There is absolutely no room. Hungry, no food. The boat is making uh, like this. Forty participants represented the German society in age, gender, and profession. This change of perspective created 40 new faces to feel empathy for and to identify with. For everybody watching the documented simulation, For five hours, they experienced only a fragment of what it takes to cross the Mediterranean, to be then confronted with the actual dimension of the crisis. Although we all knew it was absolutely safe, some of us began to cry and even panic. An integrated campaign as well as selected influencers drove traffic to the film and its website. Here, the experiment and all involved characters renewed the public debate. If we are able to change even one person's perception of the refugee crisis through this experiment, then for me it will be a complete and absolute success. Lifeboat, the experiment. A game changer for an NGO to regain media coverage, sparking a mind shift in society. Look at me. Mean what you say. Look at me. Give it back to her. I want to have a human experience. Who are you in this sculpture? Find yourself. Three, and five. Good job. Twenty-six. Steady, yeah? Move quietly. Find the passion. Connect with each other. Make your place. Take your spot. <laughs> you look nervous. What's wrong? Kind of am. Look around. Look up. Look all around. Take in your entire environment. Be a big bear. Good, embody your power. Think of who you are in the sculpture. Oh, 
connect with each other. Stop. Gucci recently debuted a new collection featuring a jacket seemingly identical to Dan's signature 80s piece without allegedly giving him credit. Now, after social media roasted the company for cultural appropriation, which seems to be pretty popular nowadays. The legend of Dapper Dan goes like this. A young man from humble beginnings becomes the premier supplier of luxury goods to Harlem's underworld. He single-handedly creates the luxury streetwear category by recreating prints and patterns from elite fashion houses, applying them to new canvases and silhouettes. The biggest names in urban culture all flock to commission a custom piece. One night, a street fight at his store brings attention from beyond his customer base, and with it, legal trouble. Why was the world heavyweight champion shopping in Harlem for a leather jacket? He sued repeatedly for copyright infringement, ultimately forced out of his business and into anonymity. And that's where it could have ended. But decades later, when Gucci's 2018 cruise show featured a jacket identical to one that Dan made in 1989, the internet howled in outrage. In this controversy, there was a path for a global fashion juggernaut and a single man to come together and set a template for equitable partnership. We would recognize and restore the momentum and market effect of a true cultural icon. To prepare, we'd have to shift conversational momentum toward a narrative of mutual respect. Expertly placed out of home hinted at Gucci's appreciation of the neighborhood, while a quick turn print campaign began to align Dan with Gucci specifically, as opposed to the broad swath of luxury brands he was associated with in his heyday. With each beat, the two brands gained more attention than either could alone, but all this was prelude to the actual solution. In March, Dan and Gucci opened his revived atelier in Harlem to the public, this time with a jointly designed capsule collection and a one-of-a-kind license to use signature Gucci fabrics in his customs business. The original outrage had given way to almost universal advocacy by summer. Customers proudly supported the capsule as a physical receipt of the notion of culturally responsible commerce. Thus, an all-but-forgotten tailor re-emerged at the forefront of pop culture, and a century-old fashion house converted a PR disaster not only into a paying proposition, but a mint of cultural capital. Finding the perfect shade of foundation. The beauty equivalent of the Riemann hypothesis in mathematics. A problem almost impossible to solve. To do it, superior intelligence was needed. And we created it. Presenting Il Maquillage's Power Match. For a year, in a lab setting, we tested Il Maquillage's 50 shades of foundation on consumers identifying 30 key factors with many different variables that would inform a highly accurate foundation match. From this data, we developed a proprietary algorithm designed to help women pick the perfect shade of foundation and turned it into a fun and easy to follow quiz that we launched on our e-com website. Without ever seeing the face of the consumer, the algorithm was able to pick the perfect foundation with more than 90% accuracy. But the algorithm continues to improve using machine learning, leveraging thousands and thousands of data points, growing more accurate with every purchase. I'm super, super impressed. Very easy to match on their website. I guarantee you will find your shade in there. 50 shades. The foundation, honey. Results? Sales grew tenfold in the following month of the launch. Now that's how it's done. So far, more than one million people have used the algorithm and counting. Power match. Baker and I took the quiz. It was fun. We loved it. So what goes behind the machine learning here? Well, there's a lot that goes behind it. And the inception was that it's very difficult, challenging to match a color online. Need we say anything else? 
As somebody once said, there is beauty in science. I make kebabs. The North Face is well known in Korea for creative campaigns that transform daily life into an adventure. This time, the North Face was up against a brand new challenge. How could we dramatically launch the Super Air Down jacket that weighs less than a kilogram? Introducing the Air Down Attack. We placed a glass booth in the park with a button that people couldn't resist pushing. The campaign quickly took off, earning more than 11 million views and was widely featured in the global media. The campaign accomplished the goal of introducing a unique product in a unique and innovative way. Thanks to creative campaigns like this, the North Face has become the number one outdoor brand in Korea. Within two months of the launch, 110,000 jackets were sold with sales reaching 47 billion won. The North Face, start of a new experience. The North Face, super air down. Equal pay for equal work. It's not that complicated. True. It shouldn't be complicated. But in 2019, even in the most liberal countries, women still earn on average 21% less than men. The fight against the gender pay gap is far from over. It needs to be passed on to the younger generation. But how do you approach the ones who would rather follow influencers over political discussions? Kings of Indigo presenting Equal Pockets. Deep pockets are a metaphor for money. Surprisingly, women's jeans have much smaller pockets than men's, as if they were tailored to match the gender pay gap. You believe that men and women have equality? Then you've never met a woman's pant pocket. Using this insight, fair fashion pioneer Kings of Indigo designed the first female jeans with pockets equally as deep as men's. Creating a political statement for equal pay disguised as a highly Instagrammable fashion item. 
With the help of illustrator Salima Gablan, the inlays of the pockets were used as a canvas for inspiration and education. The launch of the Equal Pockets collection was supported by dozens of well-known fashion influencers, bringing the gender pay gap issue to millions of their followers in a surprising and unconventional way. Kings of Indigo also sparked a fresh conversation in fashion blogs and mainstream media. While the first drop is selling out via pre-order, a second drop is already on its way. All profits will be used to support equality in payment. With Equal Pockets, Kings of Indigo not only proved their brand values, but also shed light on the gender pay gap by bringing it to the heads, hearts, and hips of a young generation.